Hi guys, welcome to the 13th episode of the Crystal Palace Crow Mode. We're going our first game against Spurs in this match. We're going to play this team here, which is the second team because we've got Chelsea in about three days time and then we've got Southampton in another three days and then Man U in another three days. So it's a pretty big episode, a few good teams in this episode we're playing. Hopefully we can win them. Brilliant save there from Hugo Lloris, seven minutes in. Uh, we'll see it right here. Uh, Erdgaard takes a shot and it's great reaction save there. Another amazing goal. Sacco, unbelievable. His second goal in two episodes here. I think he scored in the last episode. He turned the number five. Sorry, I don't know anyone's numbers. Absolutely amazingly left footed into the corner that nothing Lloris could do and it's one now. I'm not sure. I think Sacco's left footed. 2 0 Lee. Two goals in about two minutes. And Lee gets the goal. This is unbelievable from our second team here. Erdgaard turns Rose, finds Lee. Lloris should have done better, but it's 2 0. Corner, Donnarumma making a save there. I think it was Danny Rose with the shot. No, number 17 here. I think that's Sissoko. And I swear, Donnarumma, it's got about 90 jumping. Could probably stand on the crossbar by jumping as everyone misses it. Half time 2 0. We have been amazing this half. And no substitutions this game due to the fact that we've got Chelsea in three days. Corner now, uh, n none of our usual people that score from a header are on the team, so that's why I headed it over. Benteke's taking the knock, so we're going to have to play Wickham. I don't mind playing Wickham because he's not in the first team. Wickham hits the post on his second touch of the game. As you can see on next pitch, no, uh, Lee. Uh, you'll see it right now, what a chance. Brilliant interception from Sacco. Brilliant there. I wasn't meant to press X there, but I did. And it's hit the post and it's gone out for a corner. Don't know why I'm pausing that because I always play corners. Already nearly three minutes into the video. Uh, crossed in. Laurie should get that. And he does. 3 0 Lee with his second of the game. And it's the 89th minute. And we have played absolutely amazing. Wickham finding the lead. Amazing ball. Wasn't going to miss. And it's free now. Absolutely amazing. And we will go ahead of Tottenham. Because they were only one point ahead of us going into this game. I think. I think anyway. Was that Chelsea? That was Chelsea. Sorry. So I mean, probably will go ahead of them anyway. Due to the fact that we're winning against them by three goals. And we're only in fourth. And we're in sixth by... And we're gonna not play. It. Yep, that's full time. Uh, three 0 win, amazing. Okay, so uh, let's see where we are in the league. We are still sick by one point. Okay, so we've done that match. Now we can. Go ahead to the Chelsea match, so let's simulate to that. I'm going to score some messages, so I'm just going to check that. Uh, if he scored before. And he's finally turned 16, so we can actually finally offer him a contract. offer him that and now our scout future star could come into our club. Playing our first team in this match, there, is, there it is. We were going to the top five. If we win, we were going to the top four. Corner here, provide no punch and take shots in for safe course. Our boat goes out for a corner. We'll look for Dan there with the header, but course I won't get there and it's gone. Over the bar from Roho, I think, and it's goal kick. 
half time nil nil corner has been the only chance of the game really so boring half hopefully a better half hopefully we can have a better half in the second 45 minutes brilliant save from Mandanda to save us there great ball a Bamiyang shot and an amazing save there from uh, Mandanda now Hazard will take this corner and it's going to be headed away by Dan, only as far as Kante though, who will shoot and it's well wide there. Full time 0-0, uh, that was the only chance really of the game and um, hopefully in the third match against Southampton we can have a better match and more goals from us. Training session now, um, we will next training session. Uh, change it about because our scout future star would have hopefully accepted this contract when they should have. Anyway, Donnery was still going up and seeing with Oxford. That's the team. Uh, we have got Arsenal another three days, I think. So uh, hopefully we can win this match and then the next match. We're gonna actually make this the final game of the episode, and then we're gonna look at some stuff because I don't. We'll do three games in the next episode, Leicester, Liverpool and uh, Arsenal. Then we'll do the penultimate episode this season, Man City, Hull and Burnley. And then in the final episode of this season we'll do Manchester United. Half time, nil nil, nothing's happened this game. Uh, just really like the Chelsea game, boring half. And in this second half we sh hopefully we'll get some goals, third cards come off Copa. And Wickham's coming on for Benteke. Corner here, forced by making a good save from Connor Wickham's shot just outside the area. And a good save there to deny him. Uh, we'll cross into Soiree, I think that is, and he'll miss it. And now Long can go on the counter, but I don't think he will because we'll tackle him. And Erdegaard will find uh, no one. And instead he'll have a shot as well over. Wickham scores another goal from a mistake from the defence. He did that against, uh, I can't remember who, but he did, I think it was against Hull. He, the defence made a mistake. He lost the ball there, don't know who it is. And he scores past four star, one nil, about ten minutes to go. An amazing save. I could have gone closer, but I wanted to score a pretty decent goal. And how forced the save that I um, no amazing save. And it's a corner now. Would be taken by that player and forced to grab it. Free kick here. We could have actually scored, but we didn't. Erdgaard would will take. Oh, it's gonna be wide, isn't it? No, it's blocked. I think. Yep. And it's corner now, last chance of the game, 90th minute. Rubbish corner, gone straight to Cedric Suarez. And it will go to Erdegaard now. And we could go on one final attack here. Kelly finds much, gets tackled. Gardos, I think, was the one that made a mistake that lost Sal out to the game. And that is full time, and we have won 1 0. We're in the Champions League spot, and I think uh, Cortez has uh, accepted his co contract, and he will be trained quite a lot now. Uh, he won't be trained now because we can't train him before next match. And I tried to claim his contract. He said he wasn't really happy at the club, so. I Gave him contract and he declined it, so I'm not sure what's going to happen to him. It's playing the same team we played against Chelsea, hopefully we can win. And I said I wouldn't, I wasn't going to play this game because we got nine minutes. We're only nine minutes into the episode. I am going to play it. Good save from Czech here. You'll see in a second. I think it was Kabai. Lovely passing. Good turn. The weak foot. I think for Kabai. Makes him save and Romney can't keep it in, so it doesn't matter because it's corner. It's going to Gabriel, and that's going to Kabai actually, and it misses him. Kazula scores for about the fifth time against us this season. Unbelievable. Um, you'll see in a minute cross from Sanchez, 
and a great header past Van Dijk, the 1 0 Arsenal. Half time 1 0 Arsenal, bad half foot match, hopefully we can improve in the second. 1 0 Andros Townsend, he scored for us in big games to get us an equaliser like Manchester City, and he's done it again, great pass from Remy. Out muscles Kashani, I think. Is that Kashani? No. Yeah, it is Kashani. And part, I think Czech should have done better, but I don't care. It's one all. Straight away, and it's Santi Cazorla. Unbelie unbelievable. This is absolutely ridiculous. Santi Cazorla plays a 1 2, and nothing really man done could do. It's a good finish. And. It's 2-1. Thing is, corner here is the hard running through. No, it isn't for some reason. Sorry about that. El Nenny scores 3-1. Game over. And our defence should have done better there. Not sure if Gabriel thought he was still playing for Arsenal. But you'll see here. He just... Oh, no, no. It's Joel Warren. Never mind. And uh, it's in bottom front. No into the ball called a good finish by the young central midfielder and it's 3-1 corner now man time to make a save that saved us from embarrassment here uh number eight takes shot i don't know <laughs> anyone's name i think it's ozil looks like ozil probably isn't <laughs> oh god it's embarrassing they're taking it to the corner flag and I wasn't paying attention to it. they score, it's completely my fault, but down the header away, only as far as Kashelny, and it's 4 1. And that is full time, our worst defeat of the season comes against Arsenal, and we have lost against them twice this season. Disappointing, but hopefully. In our next match in the next episode, which will be the penultimate episode, we can have a better episode because we only won against Spurs. That was a good, actually one half of games, lost half of them. No, lost one, drew one. So it was an okay episode, and uh, but we hope for a better one in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Wait a second. It won't be for an ultimate episode. Uh, we'll play three games in the next episode, two in the next, so it'll be the third last episode of the uh, season. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.